Hello guys, happy baby name Monday. Oh, come on in, I'm SJ, I'm the UK's number one baby name consultant. I do this as a job and all December, this is gonna be a big baby name boom bonanza or something that somebody who's better at names could come up with. So all month I'm going to be answering the biggest name dilemmas that I get in my consultancy right here on YouTube. So if you've ever had a stress trying to choose a name, if you've ever had a conflict with somebody over a name, if you just want to know what names are about to trend, what names are about to go out, I'm going to be answering those all month. So do hit subscribe to be here for the whole of December so you don't miss a name list. The number one question I get all the time my husband is vetoing every single name but bringing no names to the table. Is this you? Put this on loudspeaker if you've got a bad naming partner in the room. There's a lot of vetoing going on and then a lot of names that are just traditional or just kind of like out of date. A lot of Jennifers, a lot of Rachels, which are beautiful names, but it's like, come on guys, we know that's who you sat next to in school and we know you can do better. Or that's like just somebody you work with and you can't think of any other trendier names. So. I didn't just do a list for you, I actually polled over 150 men to try and find which names are unvetoable. Unvetoable. The majority of men liked two names the most and they will shock you and surprise you. I'm gonna do girls in this video. Come back, hit subscribe for the boy list, which is equally lush. And uh, as I said, I'm gonna be here all December doing this. So come hang out, talk baby names. <laughs> Quick adorable baby break as my lovely friend Tintin has come over with baby Oscar to help me with our sponsor today, Mom Cozy Wearable Breast Pumps. They're an absolute revolution in breast pumps with a feature baby mouth which makes it a totally pain-free and mobile experience. And he's how many age. months? Yeah, how many it's months? Ten. Now? You'll be less. Yeah, soon, actually. That's when I. That's when Finn stopped. He just stopped one day when he was ten months because he got too distracted. He's too distracted. So will you try and pump now and give yes. him some? So how have you been finding pumping? Uh, yeah, expressing. Good. I did it mainly in the beginning. Okay. Uh, I struggled to find the time. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> to three express. Boys, so it, yeah, so I struggled to find the time to express, and um, yeah, so I just haven't really. Haven't we done? Well, hopefully these will be a bit of a lifesaver. So we'll we'll open them up. So the main difference with the mum cozy ones is that you wear them on the go. Perfect. So they're super duper comfortable. So they are designed to be worn actually when you're out and about. So like you're saying, when you don't have the time, exactly. when you're a busy mum, but you could yeah, even wear it. Sit down. And you could do it on the school run while you're out running or errands. And stuff. So I have their two best sellers to show you. First up, we unbox the all-in-one M5 wearable breast pump. How nice is this travel bag? This stuff has got so stylish since I had Freddie. So what's incredible about this is they've developed this thing called baby mouth. So it's a baby mouth breast pump. So the pump works at the precise angle of a suckling baby. So instead of that upward and downward, really rough and sore, it makes it totally painless. But also because it stimulates the baby's mouth so much more, it brings on that letdown, which I always found really hard to get started when I was pumping. They also have a vibrate to pump mode, which loosens the ducts at the same time when pumping. So you really get maximum efficiency and actually drain the entire breast, which would have been an absolute dream for me because I really found that hard and I would get quite engorged. Come on, monkey. <laughs> they always Come on, go for the anything like that. So is it comfy? Yeah, really comfortable. I couldn't really feel that it was like, Working because some of the ones I've used really pulls at your nipple. Yeah. Whereas this one's really comfortable. It's supposed to be super duper comfy and you can bend down with him and everything, can't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Which you but need to it in. when they're 10 months old. Come on, team. What a good walking. Needed to get it done. It would have been easier to get it done. Yeah. yeah, you could have just been wearing that this exactly. whole time on the school run because exactly. it doesn't look bad. No, whereas and if you had your cardigan done up. That could absolutely be in the car. Yeah. And it's silent, isn't it? It's not. It's not noisy. So you you're on the phone. <laughs> Make my dinner. My life is coming absolutely, back to me. Absolutely. So it comes with absolutely everything you're going to need to take care of your pump, like the charger, things to clean it with, a carry bag. But what I am so amazed by, which I've never seen before, is they have different flange sizes. Didn't know this was called a flange, but we all have different shaped and sized breasts. And that is something that never felt factored in when I was breastfeeding, but you can actually go onto the Mum Cozy website and find out which size you need for that perfect painless pump. Isn't that so revolutionary. I absolutely love that for us. My goodness, look at that. And that's only been on for a few minutes. 
Lick Oscar, your clever mummy. So Mom Cozy's newest breast pump is the S12 Pro wearable breast pump, which is designed for high efficiency. So when they did a poll, most women were worried about leaking, particularly when they're out on the go. So this has been designed with the exact same baby's mouth feature, but it also has an upgraded double sealed flange design so that it's a much snugger and tighter fit. So it's closer to your breast, which helps you to pump more efficiently, but also looks really, really discreet discreet but still prevents that leaking oh my gosh the leaking there's nothing worse than walking around wet and smelling like old yogurt i also love this for women like tintin who want to get back out there you've got other kids because it is so silent the noise is less than 45 db and it also it charges for about 130 minutes which means you only need to charge it every sort of seven or eight pump <laughs> I mean, loving the fact that I'm not hooked up to something and have to sit still. Oh, but that's really, really helpful. Oh, bet. Can't be hooked up to something. The Mum Cozy breast pumps literally get you your life back. You don't want to sit around pumping. You don't want to be afraid of leaking. I'm just so happy that they've sponsored our channel and I really hope you guys make good use of the Mum Cozy products. I will link them in the description box below. So at number 24 is the name Serena. So this got a few votes from the men more than some of the other names. I think it's because it's quite traditional and it sounds a bit like Sarah, but has a little bit more edge that I hope you guys would like. It's also Blake Lively's character Gossip Girl, which makes me love it. Next up was the name Annalise. I always pop this when I'm doing a super girly girl name because to me it is really, really beautiful, but very, very pretty girl name. So I was surprised to see quite a lot of men did choose it because I feel like men tend to sit away from the really really girly ones a little bit in my opinion when I've worked with a lot of couples trying to get them into a name but Annalise does really well maybe because it's got the traditional of Anna and then the Lise and I think it's a really gorgeous name. Daphne was next. Thank you Bridgerton for helping us bring some cool names back. Eloise as well it's gonna be coming back because of Bridgerton and it's lovely to see the return of Daphne. It's such a feminine name. It's such a vintage gem that is not as popular as you would think but it's going to have a little peak because of Bridgerton but a really great choice that you both might like. Bronwyn Again, I often pop this on my really pretty name list because I like the win at the end. It's such a gorgeous sound, a Welsh name, but the B is quite a strong one. So if you like Beatrice and they don't quite like Beatrice, I see that as quite a divisive one when I'm working with couples, then Bronwyn could be a great bounce and a lot of men were picking it as their favourites. They had to pick one favourite. Penelope was next. Yay, I love Penelope. I love the nickname Penny as a little vintage playful name. So if you are really unique, you could go with Penelope, but then go with Penny. Um, as a really really lovely name choice. I know a lot of you love our unique name is Love Calliope. It was one of our top guilty pleasure names which you can listen to from last week. Um, Penelope's a great choice. Why not go Penelope? The men are into it. Winnie! Yes guys! Actually Henrik really did like Winnie but he is my husband but he says Vinny. He doesn't quite say his W's because he's Swedish. So I was like no! But I'm so chuffed to see Winnie back as a vintage nickname as first name. I wasn't going to give them any of the really popular ones so I was surprised to see that they picked Winnie. 18 is Opal. I gave them some good names guys. I gave them a lot of our favourite names and so it's lovely to see them picking this gem name. It's really rare but because Olivia is our number one name there is no reason not to bounce onto Opal. I'm hearing it a lot in the middle spot and when it hits the middle it's the braver ones that go to the first name because it means in probably and it takes a little bit longer for the middle ones to come to the front, but it will be around in this child's lifetime. When they start school, if they're five or six and they go to school, or seven if they're in Sweden, um, then you might hear a lot more opals being born, and they would be just ahead of that curve, and men are liking it. Blake? <laughs> surprise, surprise. I mean, I do have a crush on the name Ryan as well, so let's be honest, but it's lovely to see gender neutral gem, the name Blake, a really lovely one. If you don't like really, really girly names, Blake is a lovely one that still sounds really good. Right next to it, the 16, the men were going for Tabitha. I'm surprised. I don't even know where Tabitha came from on my list. I see it on barely any name list. It just sort of popped out to me. I think that a long name is really, really appealing for a lot of people, ending in the A, like an Olivia again, but bouncing onto a Tabitha. And the men are going for it. Again, it's not too frilly, 
but it's very, very feminine. What do you think of Tabitha? Would it hit your list? It would definitely be on one of mine, but I would have been, I would have had a veto on that one. Harper, I should have asked Henrik. Um, Harper was next. I think that's a great name. Obviously the Beckhams have chosen it, so it gives it that um, David Beckham approval, which we all want in our lives. I mean, I live my whole life for a David Beckham approval. <laughs> Um, so it's a really cool name, really, really trendy one, more modern than a lot of the others. And then Delilah, so really nice to see this one. It is definitely one of the standout names of the last couple of years, rising through the charts, lots and lots of people loving it. The L sounds are so beautiful, but the D really adds some gravitas to it. Um, it's a biblical name, there's lots of reasons to use it. The song, a lot of people got it from the song. Um, so a really, really special one to see coming through the charts. Skylar was next, so lovely to see Skylar being popular. I thought this would be a really nice middle spot for people who like traditional and people who like brave because it sounds like a very strong name but it's very very new and modern so a really interesting one Beatrice was on there so certain some more traditional are we getting more traditional as we get nearer the top guys but Beatrice had a lot of votes as their number one from this list followed quickly by Ivy I really like the name Ivy. It is a top 10 name, but it's still got that special sparkle about it. Obviously, if you're watching this in December and you're having a Christmas baby, Ivy would be a genius choice. Um, but I think it's a really lovely one. It's not going to go out of style, but it's always going to be a little bit special with that V. Then Wren. So yeah, a little bit of a wild card choice by the guys. Wren being a bird name. It's a really popular trend always. It's a gender neutral gem. It's on both boy and name girl lists. And a really lovely one I recommend to a lot of people when they've got a longer surname or a difficult surname. It often really, really works. At number nine, so in the top 10 now, is the name Phoebe. Now, I'm not surprised by this one. It was a name that was on both me and my partner's list, and we both really, really like it. It means of the moon, so it's got a lovely, lovely meaning as well. It's a bit difficult to spell, so I do see this often when I'm looking at the bottom of the charts for rare gems, misspelled. I've seen it F-E-B-E, -E, seen it F-O-E-O, -E no, <laughs> B-H. E-O, uh, F-O-E-O, what would that be? Probably there as well. So make sure you're spelling it correctly, but a really gorgeous gem that seems to be couples pick. At number eight, Athena. I told you I put good ones on this list and they have gone for it. A lot of guys are liking Athena. Maybe they thought it was Anthea. <laughs> <laughs> Did I put Anthea? No, I put Athena. <laughs> My husband would probably be like, Anthea, that's lovely. And I'd be like, no, Athena is a very different vibe, a goddess name that's really popular. We are seeing it rising in the chart and a really, really great one. Not too unusual, not too wacky, but unique and unusual at the same time. Okay, the tops are getting a bit more traditional, but the number one still shocks me. So we have Violet, which a beautiful flower name, a vintage name, a timeless name. Really nice to see that a lot of you guys are going for it and a lot of men really like it. If I put it on the list, particularly if they like those sort of really popular names right at the top of the charts, like Ivy. And you can go, do you know what? I just feel like it's too, too popular or somebody's pinched it. Always look at the sounds and the letters and go further down the charts. And that's where Violet really, really comes in. Maeve, it's a really popular name. So out of nowhere, it's become vintage gold. It's had its spin around in the time, in the wheel of history. And so everyone's gone, yes, we like it again. Bring back Maeve, we're bringing back Maeve, we're bringing back some very questionable fashion that I've been seeing as well. Um, very back to the 90s and 80s, but the name Maeve is gorgeous. Again, short and sweet, and a lot like I was saying with Ivy, if we're looking for a one-syllable name, you can't really go wrong with it. And a lot of people love Ava, they love Eva, that was the fashion, and I would say that's getting a little bit bumps down the charts now. Definitely go for a Maeve if you're in that kind of sound category. At number four was Willow. Willow is the number 10 baby girl name in the UK at the moment, which I think a lot of people are really surprised about. I see it on a lot of lists and people are like, I've got a bit of a brave one, Willow. And I'm like, it's pretty popular now. Just not one we heard so much when a lot of us were younger, not in our peer groups, which is why it really, really works because we don't have those associations with it. We know the movie Willow. It's just a really beautiful sound. I think you would never get bored of saying it. And we always have William as a boy name. So Willow really, really works and feels traditional enough to traditionalists, but special enough to uniqueness. Should we give ourselves a name? Brave middle name is. That's what my sister would have said. At number three is Other. At number three, I've left this spot clear for all of the names that the men submitted. So I will share those with you in a minute because there were some great 
original choices that I hadn't put on my list that came in there. And then joint number one, da -la -da -la -da, two names. Actually, I've just realized that these are pretty much my daughter's name combined. <laughs> so it is Evelyn and Luna. So two really different names. Luna meaning moon, short and sweet, very, very modern, very newly popular. And then Evelyn, which is a b really vintage name that is starting to come back. And then if you put the two together, you get my daughter's name, which is Evelina, which I didn't realise. And I promise I wasn't voting myself on this name list. Maybe Henrik was. So yeah, I was so shocked. Were you surprised by those top two? So the top two names from a poll of about 150 men that did not get vetoed and were chosen as their favourite is Evelyn and Luna. Put them to the men in your life now and let me know what they say. I had about 10 men who actually chose to add their own name to the list. Thank you very much. We have a Freya, which I agree with. I think it's lovely. 100% my husband would have gone for that, but we already had a Freddy, so we couldn't. But a really great choice. Lucy, which I really do like the name Lucy. I know a lot of Lucys, they're always really lovely people, which I think makes you warm up to a name, but would be probably a rarer one. Well, it is definitely a rarer one if you chose it now. So a great pick. Catalea, Eliana, Isabella, and Jasmine. So very lovely names, very Disney princess vibes there. My favorite is Eliana out of the four just because it's the most unique and really really beautiful. Emmeline, I thought that was a great pick. I don't have all your names, sorry, but Emmeline, I love that idea because Emily is so high up and Emmeline is much stronger and you've got that sort of female fierceness to it as well with Emmeline Parker, so very, very good one. Bay, it's about B-E-A or Beer. Beer, are you tricking me? <laughs> Um, Georgiana, that's lovely. Joelle, very nice. And Novalia, Novalia. So these are more modern made up names a little bit as well. So what do you guys think of those? Ophelia, somebody has added. Really good choice. I should have put that on my list because I know that is one that really does float both sides boat. <laughs> Um, but again, I think it's bouncing off Olivia and going for Ophelia is a really great choice. Somebody's added Gemma. Not come back yet. Not surprised. Somebody has added Rebecca. This is what I was saying, guys. Come on. We can modern it up a little bit. What year are you naming your baby in? It is not the 1980s anymore. Um, Kate and Sophie. I do love all these names. I just think that we're missing out if we don't go a little bit more modern and exciting. Do you agree? But then I've got Freddie and I love his name and that is not modern and exciting at all, but just a name that I absolutely love. Love these three. Erin, one of my crush names. I've always loved the name Erin and I love the name Ellen as well. Harriet, one of my crush names. Think it is so gorgeous, so timeless, so underused. And then Connie, ding, ding, tick, tick. I love the name Connie so much. <laughs> <laughs> very awkward dance, but it's one of my faves. I, the only reason I couldn't use Connie myself is because I have an aunt Connie, but it was my gran granny's sister. And my granny was still alive, and I was like, I really want to, I would love to have had a little girl called Connie, but imagine my granny's shock horror if I named my child after her sister, and I was very close with my granny. She'd have been devastated, but I wasn't going with Sandra. Sorry, granny. So I hope you enjoyed that list of names. I'm fascinated to hear your men's favourite names in the comments below, what you thought of them. Did you disagree? I think I also get a lot of letters from men who are really brave namers. So this is more of a majority rather than everybody not lumping them all together. Do hit subscribe, come back later on this week for the boy version of this list, which is so interesting because I didn't give them any traditionals. I was mean, I gave them hard ones. If you want to join in my teenagers pick their favorite baby names list, which we do every single Christmas, I will leave that link below. And as I said, it's dilemmas, dilemmas, dilemmas. I'm opening my mailbox. I know I'm terrible at not doing individual consultations anymore since I've stopped doing the podcast um, it's been a little bit difficult for me to get through personal individual consultancies but I want to do that this December um, so the mailbox is open I will pop the email below and I'll be doing some mailbag dilemmas um, for you as well and a huge thank you to the lovely Tintin and Oscar for coming and helping us with our sponsor for today's video mom cozy i was so impressed with these breast pumps i'm so happy i get to bring them to you i'm going to leave all the information about them in the description box below so please do check it out it also really helps me to keep making free content if we support our sponsors i'll see you very soon guys bye